Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you our preschool learning binder that we use with our preschooler. And this is a binder that we use for our morning time. It's about 15 minutes and we like to drill those preschool basics so that the child is ready for kindergarten. Um, and so in here, you're gonna find all the good things like calendar time and the weather, but you're also going to have like letters and numbers and colors and shapes and all the things that preschooler need to know. Um, so it's a really great binder. I created it in an interactive way so that preschoolers really love and look forward to doing the binder every day. And this is something that you don't do in entirety every day, but you pick and choose different um, printables that are in the binder um, to do it for 15 minutes a day. And by the end of the year, your preschooler is going to know all of their basics and they're going to be um, learning it in such fun and interactive ways. So now I'm going to go ahead and share with you um, what the binder has inside. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what it has inside. Um, if you're interested in the binder, I'm going to link it below in the description box as well. All right, come on over. I'm going to show you inside. Let's take a look inside my preschool learning binder. And so here I have a two inch ring binder. And the first principle that I have here is calendar. It's important to go over calendar with your preschool children. This is an important skill to learn. And so what we do is every day we just go over the calendar and we ask the children, um, what is today? And we will get the number from over here. Everything is with Velcro and this is see-through Velcro. You can't see it. So I would give the child the number. Today is August 4th. I like asking the, ch ch the children or the child that I'm working with, if today is August 4th, what is tomorrow? And I'll ask them, what was yesterday, August 3rd? And when the child is first starting, you want to go ahead and help them with these answers because they're not going to be able to understand number order and things like that. But just going over the calendar with them every day, and just giving them the number that they need to get. Today is August 5th. Let's put August 5th on the calendar. It's going to be great practice for them. Let's move on to the next principle. The next principle is weather. It's really important to start teaching children about weather and becoming aware of the weather. And so you want to have your child look out the window or go outside and tell you what the weather is. Is it sunny? Is it partly sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? Is it stormy? And then you want to have them put that on the square there in the middle. Um, and this is going to be something that they're going to love doing because it's very interactive. The next one is season. So they get to pick out the season. So summer, fall, winter, and spring. And then they get to put it right there in the square. The next principle is all about emotions. Now, for all of you who know that young children battle with emotions and being able to manage their emotions is something that they struggle with. So teaching children about emotions is very important. So here I have this principle where the child gets to choose how they feel that day. And so there's different faces here and I didn't put names to these faces because some of them could be tired, some of them could be bored, some of them could be sick. Um, maybe they're feeling scared. So there is left to the interpretation of the child and the adult that's working with them. And they get to pick and put the face on the child and how they're feeling. They may pick multiple faces. As they're learning about the different emotions, they like being able to see the different faces on the child. And that is okay. So you want to work with them, talk about emotions, talk about regulating emotions. And this is a good time to talk about how to manage emotions, what to do when you're angry, what to do when you're frustrated, what to do when you're scared. If they're feeling scared that day, you want to be giving them tips uh, on how to manage those different difficult emotions that they may be dealing with. Let's move on to the next principle. This one is uh, telling time. So it's very important to start teaching, introducing time in a very gentle way. So here I have a clock and it's interactive. I have Velcro on the tips of these arrows. I have a minute arrow and I have an hour arrow. Um, these are also laminated. And so the first thing that I do when I start teaching time is just have the child go over the numbers on the clock. So they start with one, two, three, four, and they're repeating with me as they're pointing to the numbers on the clock. Um, and that is just one simple thing that I like starting off with. Then I like introducing the little hour arrow. And then I will tell them 
this little arrow is going to be pointing to the hour. So right now, this arrow is pointing to the number one. Now it's pointing to the number two. Now the hour is pointing to the number three. And you go on and on until you go all the way around. And then you can have them place it somewhere and then try to tell you the time if they know their numbers. Um, and then what I like to do is introduce the minutes, but I only for preschool introduce the um, telling time by the hour. Um, sometimes we do by the half an hour if the child is, is getting it and is moving quickly. So I always leave the minutes here pointing to the 12 and I tell them that means a clock. So it's four o'clock. It's five o'clock. It's six o'clock. And I go all the way around teaching them like that. This is a great way, an interactive way of learning how to tell time by the hour. If the child has mastered it, you can move on to the half an hour and just leave this one here. Um, and then just start teaching them how to tell time by the half an hour. So 3.30, 5.30, and so on. Okay, let's move on to the next principle now. Here we have Dress the Bear, and this is a fun interactive act activity where the child gets to use their creativity to dress the bear. So here we have different colored t-shirts, different pants, even a dress if they wanna make it into a girl. This could be a bow for a shirt, or it could be a bow for someone's hair. Um, so let them use their creativity. Here are some shoes. And so let the child use their creativity to create the bear how they want to. And then you can talk about the different colors on the shirt or on the pants, the different details. And it's just a fun way that they get to dress up their bear every day, and they love doing that. Okay, so now let's move on to the next activity. And here is learning uh, your left and right hands. And so I have a drawing of left and right. And I have the child put their hands down, and I'll say, this is your right hand, and this is your left hand. And then we'll play a game and I'll tell the child, put your right hand down, put your left hand down. And I will use cues sometimes if they know their colors. I'll say, put your, hand, put your right hand on the red hand. Put your left hand on the blue hand because they have the different colors here to differentiate the right and the left. And we like playing this game and we'll go back and forth putting the right and the left hands down. And this is something that is important to learn in preschool and kindergarten. Moving on to the next principle, I have the alphabet. So this is important for, for preschool, as we all know, for learning to read. We, know to, we need to know our alphabet. We need to know our letter sounds. So what I do is I like starting off with the alphabet song. Um, and so I'll just sing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And so I'm singing the song for those friends that are abroad and may not know the song that we sing here in the U.S., but you can use your own alphabet songs that you have abroad as well. And then, so I start off with the alphabet song that we use, and then I'll go over the letter sounds. A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, E, J, K, O, M, N, A, P, K, W, R, S, T, A, V, W, X, Y, Z. And I'm going over it very quickly because some of our friends may not know our letter sounds and I'm using the short vowel sounds. If you want to know more information about teaching children to read, I made a whole tutorial on how I taught all of my children to read by the age of three. And I'll link that below in the description box. The next chart we have here is numbers. And this is learning numbers one through 20. And the first thing is just learning how to count from 1 through 20. So we'll just go over it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. So the child is pointing with me and I'm saying the name of the number. And I'm going to have them repeat after me. After they get a little bit better, I will start having them say it on their own. I will start getting the numbers out of order and I'll point. Can you tell me what this number is? 
Can you tell me what this number is? Can you tell me what this number is? So that I know that they're really learning their numbers and that they can recognize the numbers out of order as well. The next one I have here is Days of the Week. And I'm going to be singing the Days of the Week song for those friends that want to know what to sing to your children in circle time. And so this is the song that I have. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so you sing that with your children every day. By the end of the school year, they're going to know their days of the week. As uh, your child gets better and if um, they want the challenge, you can have them put the days of the week in order. Starting with Sunday, then Monday, and so on. So I, I have that challenge for those of you that want that challenge. And if you think your children can do it, this is just a little another part of this activity that you can try. The next one is the same concept, but it's with month of the year. And this is the song that we use. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. And you're going to be going over that same song every day. By the end of the year, they're going to know it. If they want the challenge of putting the month of the year in order, go right ahead. That is something that some do like doing as a challenge. Here we have colors. And of course, all preschoolers need to know their colors. So this is an interactive binder. And I love it because they love being able to match these things. So you just remove them. And at first, if you have a child that's not used to matching, you may just have to do one row at a time. And as you as they do it, they have them call out the name purple, green, whatever color it is, you just call it, call it out as they place it down on the mat. You call out the color. As they get better, you want them to be calling out the color name. Um, and that is the way that we learn it. As they get better, you might have them try the whole entire sheet. Um, it just depends on your child's attention span and if they have done matching and the puzzles before. The next one is shapes. This is another one, again, that you want your children to know their shapes, their basic shapes. And so it's the same concept. The child is going to match. It's fun because it's interactive and it has these little fun faces on the shapes. And so you'll call it out like triangle, square, as they put it down, circle, and so on. The next one is numbers. And so as you saw before, they're learning how to count. But now this is number recognition. So they really have to, it's like a puzzle. They have to look at the pieces and be able to tell, okay, this is two. This is three. As they put it down, you want to say the name. This is one. And so this is a little bit more difficult, but this is visual discrimination and matching, which is an important skill to learn in preschool. Here we have vehicles. And we have a lot of these matching um, activities in this binder. I'm going to show you vehicles, but we have a lot of other ones like foods and careers and a lot of other ones. So basically, it's the same concept. Now, if your child hasn't done matching before, then you might want to do one row at a time so that it's not overwhelming to them because they really need to look at the details. Some of these cars and some of these things look similar. Visual discrimination is a very important skill to learn. It's, it's important because you need it for preschool, for, for learning the letters. There's visual discrimination lear for learning letters, for seeing the difference between letters, between numbers. You're going to use visual discrimination for many different content areas. So this is a great practice for them to be able to do these puzzles. And you're not going to be having them do all of the puzzles every day. Just pick like one to do every day. And like that, they got to practice their visual discrimination, their vocabulary skills, and a lot of other skills. Okay, so I skipped all the way to the back. There's a lot of activities in this binder, but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so let's go over tracing. So children are learning how to do the basics of tracing in this binder. So we're starting with pre-writing, going from one end to the other. As you can see, there's little animals. So I tell the child, this animal wants to get to the other animal. So we're going to be staying on this road. So you got a dry erase marker and you have the child stay inside of the little road that I have here. This is good for penmanship, for strengthening those hands for writing. Um, and at first, they may be holding the pencil or the marker 
in uh in the, the incorrect way you just want to gently correct that but you don't want to focus too much on that because that is also self-correcting as they practice their their handwriting and so this is just to get them started with tracing so here we have another page we have different ones we have tracing shapes and they end with tracing numbers if they can um, but this is just an introduction this is not something that we want to focus too much on at first um, we want this to be fun and interactive and engaging for them we hope you enjoyed a sneak peek of my preschool learning binder i didn't get to show show you all of the principles but you got an idea of what's inside and you got an idea of what you're going to be able to work your 15 minute morning sessions with your preschoolers to really ingrain those basic skills in a fun and interactive way. I'm going to link below in the description box of the video where you can get this folder. And I'm also going to link below the toddler learning folder, which comes before this one that you can also do with your little ones. It's a little bit easier than this one. I'm going to link that below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and click on the notification bell. I have some really uh, good videos coming, um, especially for those of you that are home educators. I have our curriculum video coming soon. I have our checklist and our dashboard video coming soon and our first day of school video um, that, we're, that we're going to be filming. Um, please stay tuned. Until the next time. Bye-bye.